Hey guys, I want to talk a little bit today about boxing because that's what the channel is about. But I want to talk about the state of boxing, what's going to end up happening, where this crap in society today is going to end up going. And the shamefulness that's going on today. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of talk about this broke down society. I will give some, probably some reasons as to why some stuff's going on. And I'm basically putting this out because of the school shooting yesterday. Now, let me say from the get-go here, school shootings are not uh, done by just transgender people. I'm having trouble even understanding any of this mess, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm an old man, and I don't cotton to... You know, just because one certain president said, well, it's okay, just be what you want to be, do what you want to do. About 10 or 12 years ago, that's not how I'm going to base my moral foundation. You go for it. You know, if everything's going to rely on a skin color to you and as long as the guy that's your color tells you, hey, it's okay, then you go for it. Here's what I do. I I try to spot evil. And that, that president, you know who I'm talking about, was evil. Uh, I don't give a damn whether you like what I say or whether you don't. He was, he was against God. Still is against God. And he... He was one of the catalysts to, and I'm not talking Republican or Democrat here. He was one, uh, Obama was one of the catalysts, but this stuff started happening under George Bush Sr. And uh, since Reagan, and really it started under Carter, Reagan started reeling things in, but Reagan even lied about something. Uh, he said he was going to get rid of the Federal Department of Education, who their agenda has always been evil, uh, that Carter created, that was implemented in 1979. Uh, I was well into my schooling by the time that was implemented. Uh, and Reagan was going to rein that back in and get rid of it. He didn't do it. But this, really, this mess, you can take all the way back to George Bush Sr., the first George Bush. Uh, so I, it's not a political party. Today it is. But uh, the only pushback is coming from Republicans to this Democrat crazy as hell mess. And let me tell you something. This Democrat crazy as hell mess, there is no love. There is no acceptance. There is no decency. There is no godly or concrete moral foundation to stand on. It is all evil. If you keep promoting this, you are evil too. Now, I'm going to go back and forth in relation to boxing here. You like boxing, do you? Oh, you do. But you believe a man can be a woman, a woman can be a man, just like that, because they say so. Uh, folks, newsflash, 15, 16 years ago, 18 years ago, I mean, the blink of an eye ago. And for all of 6,000 years of recorded history that we have up till that moment, uh, you were mentally ill if you were a 
man walking around saying you are a woman or a woman walking around saying you are a man. Now, one thing I, I didn't get to here, and I'm rambling, I'm, a, I'm an old man, but uh, these school shootings have got more to do than about whether a person's a guy or, or a girl. Uh, this stuff's been going on for quite some time, and we've got a breakdown in society. And uh, you want to know where my kid is? You want to know where Joe is? He's sitting right over here taking school classes from an academy in Florida. I ain't, I ain't allowing him to go up into a school with the shit that's in these schools today. You don't like it. I, I could care less what you like or what you dislike. Uh, and guess what? More more hate you can shed on me or him or us. Uh, the academy is a Christian academy. I expect nothing less. Why would I send my kid off to public school to learn how to curse? To learn sexually perverted things, to have access to drugs, you got to be crazy. You got to be crazy. Well, I work and I don't have time. Well, guess what? If I didn't have the time, he would still be sitting over there. And I'd Bust up on him, as big and huge as he is, I'm the daddy. And I'd bust up on him, and he knows it, if he's making bad grades. I don't have to stand over him and supervise 24-7. And if you have to feel like you have to do that with your kids, you've done a horrible job up to the point to today. You hadn't reared your kid correctly. Now back over to boxing. You guys love, oh yeah. Oh, I love boxing, but I believe a man can be a woman, a woman can be a man. We used to call that schizophrenia because there was something inside you telling you, you're not a man, you're a woman. You're not a woman, you're a man. We used to call it schizophrenia. For 6,000 years, but for 15 or 16 years, we've been saying, well, it's okay. And that proves psycho psychiatry is a racket. It's a racket. All these pills they're peddling on people is a racket. The only psychiatry, psychology that has ever been proven to really help somebody is when somebody's not so far gone enough that they can get counseling from somebody. That's talking and listening. That's the only thing that's proven in psychiatry. You can go look to your damn head turns blue. You can be setting up in a fancy uh, university. Come really give me the proof. Here's the proof you can give me, Mr. University student or professor or psychiatrist. You can tell me, here's what, what you can prove to me. You can prove to me by just completely, almost completely, almost completely just subduing a human being through drugs, you can help them. Beyond that, ain't shit you can do. Not a damn thing. And as long as society is not watching what it's eating, not getting exercise, staying on games, uh, listening to crazy, evil stuff, looking at crazy, evil stuff, uh, the chemical imbalances and all this stuff's just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. Now here's the boxing thing. Get ready for it, folks, because there's going to be a time within the next 10 years if this shit is allowed to continue and God is pushed to the side where even in boxing, there's going to be a woman uh, champions having to fight men. And I, uh, well, I think that could work. Well, guess what? You think wrong. 
And uh, that test has done being given. The I can't remember her name, but the lady they consider the best female fighter in the history of the world got in with a novice uh, little boxer that she outweighed. And she was even stronger than this little guy. And this little guy knocked her out so bad people were thinking when they were running up in the ring she was dead. He just manhandled her just like that. And he had very limited boxing experience. This lady had been boxing for over, well over a decade, winning all sorts of women championships. She gets in with this guy that has a few months experience and he just knocks her plum out. And that'll happen again and again and again. And then they'll take boxing from you because somebody will get killed in the ring. See? They'll take your guns from you because a crazy person, I don't know, I still don't know if it was a man or a woman. Uh, I was just watching on Fox News. I have an expert come on, he said. He still couldn't get to the bottom of it. Was this a man pretending to be a woman or a woman pretending to be a man? And guess what? You're just pretending there. Something ain't right. You're dysfunctional. Guess what? Columbine. All that. Those kids were dysfunctional. And they'll just take boxing from you. Just like they'll take the gun. You know, instead of addressing mental illness, uh, what they're saying is, well, everything's okay. You can do whatever you want. We got to feel bad for these people. We need to send mental health professionals to crime scenes instead of cops. And the same people pushing that mess is the same people uh, that are saying, oh, everything's okay. Socially and mentally and physically, you're fine. You know, you go look at this Chaz guy, or whatever the heck the guy's name is, uh, on the learn on the learning channel now. Uh, this little boy becoming a woman, a diaphragm, something they have to stick between your legs and stick up in you, so you will have a female part. Cause all that tries to heal back up, cause you can't be a woman if you're a man, and you can't be a man if you're a woman. It's not possible. It's biology. It's science. And that mama. I go in there in the middle of the night and jam that thing up in her. No, what she's doing is going up in there in the middle of the night and jamming something between her son's legs. That's what she's doing. And she needs to be 15, 20 years ago, that witch would have been locked up. And now we're parading it on television. Kids, you need to, young boxers, you, you need to have horse blinders on. If you young kids don't know what that means, we used to say take the horse blinders off so you can see see around you. Kids, you need to have horse blinders on. There are them blinders they put on the sides of the horses so the horses would just go straight ahead pulling the wagons and such and wouldn't veer off and stop and worry about everything that's going on on the side, beside them. And, uh, uh, Rocky, come on now. This is my German Shepherd here. Uh, you young guys need, and young girls, you need to keep your horse blinders on because you're living in an insane asylum called Earth right now. You are just, you are being brought up as an adult in a mental institution called your community. The church is dead. I don't want to hear that it's thriving and doing great because it's not. Uh, the Church of England there kicking that guy out because he stood up and said a man's a man and a woman's a woman and sexual perversion is wrong. Kicked him right out. He's a black guy. 
uh, that stood up. See, so the race thing don't, ain't important. It's not important. Uh, they don't really care what color you are, what sex you are, uh, or your sexual preference. or They don't care. They're doing all this crap to pull society down to take over for one world government. Just like the Bible says. Just like the Bible says. And we're here. We're there. I tell all you young kids, go read uh, Romans chapter 1 where it talks about worshiping the beast and it's talking about the creation of the world. They'll no longer believe that God created the world and they'll start worshiping beasts. That's evolution. That's worshiping that we come from beasts, monkeys. Uh, they talk about the sexual perverted, the, the homosexuals. Yeah, homosexuality is mentioned many times in the Bible. It's just not called homosexuality. It's called man laying in bed with man in the same bed burning with lust together. What do you think that means? It says they'll be proud of it. They'll be going out in public and uh, there'll be great pride in it. And look at all the pride parades we're having. And you know what? I don't care if you like this or whether you don't. I, I really don't. Uh, I'm about getting to the point where I think the divide that the Bible's saying will happen is happening now. And there's people we can't reach. And uh, you really, folks, you need to be careful because there's a big misconception with uh, Christ also. Uh, you need to remember that the there. Uh, I believe this is in Romans as well. I believe it's in Romans chapter one or chapter chapter eleven as well. God saying there's some people He's not going to allow up into heaven with Him. He just says I don't like them. I didn't like them before they were born because God knows who we are before we're born. So we need to start standing up. And you people in the sports community, quit being scared. Quit being scared because I'm telling you, if Joe was on the verge of the World Heavyweight Championship and they came to me or Joe and said, hey, be quiet, you'll make $68 million or $60 million here, but don't say nothing. Well, the minute you start telling them, Alan, don't talk, we're going to start shouting louder. Now, I don't know about you, but don't be quiet about this no more. If we all get online, if we all out on the street are voicing our dislike for all this crazy mess in this world, uh, there's other people that will say, hey, I'm going to talk too. I'm going to say something too. So I know I've been rambling here uh, and rambling and rambling, but... Boxing's where all this crap's coming next. And if you can't wake up and realize, as you older people that watch this, that you're in a little community. Now, it's in Nashville, but Nashville's not a huge, big place. It sounds big because they have a music festival, but it's not. It's a small place. If this crazy crap is happening here, and they'll blame it on the Christian school. They were trying to suppress the person. Oh, come on. There's nobody being suppressed here except decent people. And let me tell all of you something. If you walk up, and there's a man, and they're dressed like, and they're trying to act like a man and they're trying to act like a woman something is wrong with that person you should never let your children around that person much less let them teach your child while you're not present I wouldn't let them teach them while I am present and the same thing 
for a man that thinks, a woman that thinks she's a man. I start seeing that and I know, I know. And here's how I know. I grew up in a society that knew it. And folks, let me tell you something. Especially to you younger people. You older people, you're shot. You're gone. You're where you're at. You may be one of those that God doesn't like. So he's going to... God says, I'm putting the blinder on these people. It's because of me they'll never really seek me. It's because of me they'll be in the false church. Uh, God's doing that to some of you older people. So there ain't no reaching you. But to you younger people... Uh, I want you to stop and think. All of recorded history in mankind tells you every religion, the normality of it, even in native tribes that are indigenous tribes uh, that have never came in contact with modern society, they honor their mother and their father. They... uh, Fly right, don't steal. Uh, well, they things happen, but they're taught not to lie, cheat, or steal. Uh, they'd ostracize you if you was a man thinking you was a woman or a woman thinking you're a man and things like that. From historical history, is something that you're born with. Let me tell you, I hate to do this, but I'm going there. I'm going there. Our next door neighbors had a little boy, and uh, we we didn't know. The other kids in the neighborhood didn't know. We'd be playing cowboys and Indians, and this other little boy would be a little Indian princess or a cowgirl. And we're just eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten years old. Let, well, up to, we figured it out when we got about ten. But when we were younger, we didn't know no better. And turns out the mama and the daddy were dressing the kid up in women's clothes. He was in there with all girls, had sisters. Uh, I don't know what was up with these people. I don't care what was up with them. I don't give a damn if I offend them. They need to be offended. They're offensive. Uh, But a little boy in his walking around down house and Mama and his sister's clothes and stuff. What do you expect? They helped him. Yeah, there's a, is a thing called transition. They helped transition that little boy into a girl. Things like that ain't normal. They're just not normal. And we didn't even know enough of it to go tell our moms and dads. But when we started knowing enough of it, they were like, you need to stay away from this kid. And I've went through moments in my life where I feel bad that we did distance from that kid. But I'm seeing now, it's, it's these people that are the mentally ill ones. They're the ones that's attacking everybody else. They're the ones filled with all the hate. They say, we will be love. But if you dare have even a little minor disagreement with these people, they are flipping out, going crazy want to beat you up in the street, uh, mad dogging it, and that's why they want all these extra laws and extra privileges. They need it because they're aggressive and they're rude and they're crude and they're evil. And yeah, I said it. And yet, yeah, where we're going to stand is there. there is a God. Christ is our God. He's our King. And we're going to try to fly right, or as right as we can. Uh, but this world's going in a bad direction. And you people, well, they said, the Bible says don't judge. No. I don't know what Bible you're reading. Uh, pulling a verse out of context, judge not lest ye be judged. That's not the Bible telling us that we're not to judge each other. We're to be in constant discernment of one another and in judgment. Uh, You have to judge in your head to be in in discernment. And the Bible talks about that a lot. So it's just people trying to confuse you young people. 
Uh, I know this is rambling, but put horse blinders on, young boxers. Uh, you see something you don't like, stand up against it. If you're the only guy in the room, you want to be a boxer, you want to be a tough guy. <coughs> the real tough, even tougher than getting in a ring, is being the one out of 50 guys that stands up and says, No, I will not. I do not agree with the other 49 of you. That takes the real strength. That's the real muscle there. Way harder than getting in the ring. Uh, these poor children, what happened yesterday? And all the adults were 60 years old or older, so they were basically senior citizens. So you had seniors murdered and you had nine-year-old children murdered. The president comes out, they release a thing, they say, he's going to come out, and right off the bat, he's going to start talking about this tragedy in Tennessee. He comes out, put an ice cream, and joking on ice cream, and say, oh, you kids in the back are real, real uh, sharp and handsome, and blah, blah, and laughing and carrying on. Everybody in there, because nobody's going to go see him that's not evil. Good people aren't going to go see this man. And he's sitting there joking and carrying on. And you same people, if that would have been Trump sitting up there, you'd be, oh my God, he's full of hate and discrimination and hatred. He even hates children. See, see your gig's up. Nobody cares. You don't love anybody. You don't love yourself. You don't even love yourselves, you evil people. That you would condone what that guy did and you'd sit and attack the other guy if he did it. Make excuses for one. That's called being a hypocrite. And news flash to you all that claim anything to do with Jesus Christ. The people he disliked more than anybody was the hypocrites. And that's exactly what you are. And the reason why you're hypocrites, you have no moral foundation to stand on. Because as God told those Philistines, uh, your God is not of Isaac, Abraham, or Jacob. Or Isaac, Abraham, or Moses. Your God's something else. You're not real. You're false. And you people standing up for all this man is a woman and woman is a man. I'm so glad that it's not here in this country where I'm living right now. Uh, because let me tell you something. I will end up getting a crap beat out of myself. Or I'll end up going to jail. Because I'm not going to have a man over six foot two come buckle up on me and yell at me because I say yes sir to him when he's got a voice this deep. And looks like a man and big muscles. I ain't doing it. I'm not going to lay down and play dead to that. That would be for weak people like you who are upset with what I'm saying now. That wouldn't be for me. I've got a moral concrete foundation to stand on. I don't care what the American Psychiatric or American Medical Society says. Uh, I could care less because I know that all these things are corrupt as hell. Uh, good God. They have sat back and told us for three years, follow the science, yet they don't have no science. People are dropping dead. Get online and look at that, young people. Look at young athletes. Just Google young athletes all of a sudden falling dead. Uh, guys in great shape falling down dead falling down paralyzed they all got one thing in common so go find out what that one thing is one thing I can tell you here they were following the science so I choose not to follow that science because these scientists are as corrupt as hell too these doctors performing these surgeries on little children are corrupt as hell. 
Boxing is the only sport left right now. And MMA, mixed martial arts, is the only thing left right now that has a man against a man and a woman against a woman. Uh, and it's soon to be lost, folks. And it'll be the death of boxing very soon, within five, six, seven years. We keep allowing this mess to go on. And it's all due to pulling away from God. Pulling away from God. And in this crazy world, as bad as I am, I'm trying to pull towards God. Uh, you do what you like, but I'm going to keep giving a voice, a warning uh, on anything like this that happens. And uh, shame on these damn news outlets and sh shame on that president sitting up there laughing and carrying on and giggling about ice cream. And shame on any of you that ain't mad as hell at him, no matter what party that you're in. Because you'd sure as hell be mad at the orange guy. And people need to wake the hell up. 